So introduce yourself. All right. Um, my name is Jed Freel. I'm the curriculum leader for engineering and science here at the Kilmarnock campus of Ayrshire College. Engineering science, what does that mean? Well, here at Kilmarnock campus, the engineering is the basic traditional disciplines of engineering in Ayrshire, which are fabrication and welding, manufacturing, machining, maintenance, fitting, and electrical installation. In science, most of our students do applied science, biomedical science, to go off to university, and that's really our portfolio here at Kilmarnock campus. When we prepare our young people to go into an apprenticeship in engineering, it's not just to be able to do the trade, they have to be problem solvers, they have to be thinkers, they have to be planners because that's what employers are looking for. They're looking for people who come with those softer skills as well as the practical skills of fabrication and welding, electrical installation. They want them to come to them as problem solvers, team workers and critical thinkers, definitely, yes. Yeah, so the link, nowadays, it used to, it used to be you'd HNC, HND and then straight mm -hmm. degree course. Mm -hmm. It's not happening now. It's not at Kilmarnock campus because our focus is on employment. Um, but for instance, at our Kilmarnock campus, they go SVQ level 2, NC, HNC, and electrical engineering, and then they can look to do HND and degree. But here at Kilmarnock campus, our focus is on employment rather than university. So that's why we've designed our courses the way we have. And obviously, the guidance sort of process within the college, you have to sit down. For example, the chap was talking to earlier about diving. Mm -hmm looking for divers. Mm -hmm. The best divers are a lot, he says, are scaffolders, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so obviously from your point of view, if you're training somebody uh, in a college yes. situation, you say, well, look, you can go into other types of careers within mm -hmm. this industry. Ah. Don't just think about a tool maker or no. whatever. Well, we talk to our students about that all the time and try to give them examples because, yes, you can serve your time as a tool maker, but that's not the end of your journey in engineering. The, the world's an oyster with engineering you travel. Can, you can end up a manager, there's all sorts of career opportunities. It doesn't have to stop at the factory floor. However, for a lot of people, that's a, that's a long and fruitful career anyway, working the factory floor, but there are plenty of other opportunities we talk to our students about that all the time. And oil and gas is massive, isn't it? Absolutely, huge. What we see here in, in Ayrshire is more the supply chain to oil and gas. The actual jobs themselves tend to be in the northeast, but there's plenty. You'll have spoke to high spec engineers, yeah. for instance, today. Companies like High Spec, their trade is working in the oil and gas industry and we're trying to train young people to help them make a business in that trade. People want to contact somebody like you, what do they do? What do they do? Pick up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> we are online. Go to our website and there's contact details there. But yes, all you have to do is phone into reception and ask to speak to a certain department that we put through. We're at the end of the phone all the time. But yes, best point of first contact is the website. See so before we start, what happens when this film? You know what happens. Yeah. Who gets it and what, what do we do with it? It goes to the world wide net on YouTube. Seriously? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's... Anyway, we'll look up and just don't put you off anymore. Nah. I'll get you all nervous. Yeah.